Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another E3 2011 edition of E3 2011. This time we're going to recap Nintendo's conference, and we're going to do all of that after this. You guys are tuned into So finally, we got to who a lot of people anticipated, Nintendo. And when we got to Nintendo's conference, they talked about Zelda, and then they talked about Zelda, and then they played some music, and then they talked about Zelda, and they talked about Zelda some more, and then they talked about Zelda, and then they played some music, and then, then they, they talked, talked about, about Zelda, Zelda some more, and then they talked about, and then they talked about Zelda. And then they talked about Zelda, and then they played some music. And then they talked about Zelda. Then everybody went to the bathroom and came back, and they talked about Zelda. They played some more music, and then they talked about Zelda. And uh, that was the end of the show. Uh, see you guys next year. And we'll talk about Zelda next year, too, when we come back. Some more. E3 2012. Go to the website. Because on the website, we're going to be talking about Zelda some more. No, but on a serious note, though, they did talk about Zelda a lot. They played some music. And he was excited. You guys saw it. You guys saw it. He, he was... He's never been to or heard an orchestra before. And he's been in the gaming industry for... Ever since all of us were born. But, uh... They talked about Zelda. I mean, Zelda is a huge franchise. Uh, that's his baby. He's proud of it. So kudos to him. He should be. I mean, it's one of the most popular games ever. So, uh, so they're going to be releasing an, a lot of Zelda games, free Zelda games. Um, so, uh, they're going to be remastering the original Zelda, which uh, I know takes me back because I had the original Nintendo in between that and Super Mario Bros. and Excite Bike. A lot of the games they announced uh, were pretty exciting for older gamers. I'm pretty sure probably a lot of you guys watching this show probably never even had a Nintendo. Um, and there's some of you guys that have, so. <clears throat> but I talked about Zelda. But we don't care about that, do we? No. I mean, we do, but we don't. We want to get to what I predicted, if you guys go back and watch my E3 predictions video, and I was talking about uh, the new controller uh, and what I felt that Nintendo will be doing with it, um, s my predictions became right. Uh, first and foremost, it's called the Wii U. I don't know who of these million dollar executives or whoever, who is sitting down at the conference table is like, what about the Wii 2? Nah, anybody else? Uh, what about the Wii HD? Nah, too cliche. Uh, what about Nintendo Super Wii? Nah, we've done Super before. Hey, I got it. Yeah, you. How about the Wii U? Oh my God, I think you're onto something. Keep talking. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? The Wii U, the Wii U, the Wii U? What's the next system gonna be called? The Wii U and us? And then after that, the Wii U, us and them? <laughs> Nintendo's hilarious, but at any rate, so they got the Wii U, it's out. I will, not out, but it's scheduled to come out uh, 2012. Uh, now, the, the it's a 6.2 inch screen, and it looks pretty bulky, but the things that this thing can do are pretty nice. Now, um, it has an accelerometer, it has a touch screen, of course it has the, D, the two joysticks. It, it's, if you honestly look at it, it's an upside down PSP, Vita. Because if you take the two uh, uh, analog sticks and put them below, it's basically an ugly shaped PSP Vita with a bigger screen. You didn't think about that, did you? Just doesn't have a little trackpad stuff on the back. No, but, um, <clears throat> excuse me, no, but uh, 
from from what they showed off, it looks very impressive as far as the technology goes. The way uh, you can when when they were golfing, they put the, the they put it on the ground, had the Wii and they swung. That was very impressive. Uh, how you'll be able to take the game that you're playing off of the TV and put it on the device itself and be able to play the game around the house was a, a to me was a big feature and and a very nice and welcomed feature as well um they they showed uh, the person viewing pictures and then the way he swiped it towards the TV I thought that was a nice little effect and then it showed up on the TV so it was a lot of different tech demos that they showed with the device they really didn't speak on anything as far as detail details go. Uh, they gave a few details as far as um, some of the features, like there's a, a front-facing camera, a rear-facing camera, a left and right analog stick, D-pad, uh, a gyrus, uh, a left and right speaker. It's a touchscreen accelerometer. Had a microphone built into it. Um, it looked like they had a FaceTime type of a feature built into it, which is pretty cool. I wonder how many friend codes you have to put in before you actually get to freaking voice or video chat with somebody. I mean, hell, you got to put in like three to four. All right, let me stop. Let me stop cracking on Nintendo because I was getting ready to go pretty hard right there. But, um. But it, it, it's called the Wii U. Honestly, it looks very interesting. I'm still curious on the price of it. I'm really curious on the price of the controller. Not really in itself the console. I'm curious on the price of the controller because they really didn't say anything about pricing, which is understandable. It comes out next year, so they can't give you everything. And honestly, they probably this probably isn't the final product. I'm pretty sure of that. It could it could be. But, I mean, there's a lot of different things they can change before this thing comes out. Because, honestly, that controller, I haven't touched it, but it looked pretty bulky and pretty heavy. So, but like I said before, that's a, suit, that's a really nice feature. Because I can't count how many times I like to lay down and play a game. So, and, and, and one thing uh, Nintendo was able to do with this, essentially, is you don't have to pay... For two separate games, it's one game. At least that's what we're assuming. I'm pretty sure, though, it's only one game uh, that you're paying for. But what they were able to do with this thing, it was pretty nice. It was pretty nice. Uh, but other than that, their, 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 their press conference was really bland. It, it really wasn't anything else there. I mean, they announced the console, which is really nice. It comes out 2012. I'm pretty sure fall. It didn't say fall, summer, spring. Pretty sure it won't be coming out till fall of 2012. Um, but they they announced it. Uh, it, it. It looks nice from what they showed. I'm actually I'm I'm a gameplay type of person. I want to see what the games look like. I want live on stage demos, not videos. But I mean, it's still early, so. They don't have anything ready for it yet, obviously, but I am looking forward uh, to seeing what else Nintendo does does with this. But as far as Nintendo's conference goes, again, um, it was a lot of Zelda, then they talked about this, and that was pretty much it. That was pretty much the only thing everybody wanted to hear from Nintendo's conference, to be honest, and they delivered on it. Um, I think it's nice. If I was to grade Nintendo's conference, it would probably be about a C plus C. Um, like I said, they really didn't have anything to talk about. That's why they talked about Zelda for half the conference. So other than that, that was Nintendo's con conference. Make sure you guys check out the website, dlb-network.com, uh, for all your gaming and tech news and E3 and WWDC. So you guys head over there, register. As far as the video, comment, rate, subscribe, do what you like, do what you want until the next video. I'm your boy DLB, and I'm out.